Hey, it's Professor S, and I'm here to talk about diffusion again. This is going to be a little different, though, than the food coloring video. In this video, I don't want to simply focus on the definition that you got beaten over the head with in the food coloring video. You know the whole thing that diffusion is the net spreading of particles in a mixture or solution from an area of high concentration to low concentration until uniformly distributed. I'll try not to say it too many more times, but students who've had my classes before know I drill on this because it's fundamental to so many things in biology. Having said that, what I really want to focus on in this video is two ideas. One is that diffusion is the product of random motion, and two, diffusion is distance limited. So let's start with this animation. A box of particles, the particles are circles, numbered, because I could keep track of them better during animation if they were numbered. And what I did to set this up was I created a concentration gradient. As you look at this, from your top left to your bottom right, there's a clear gradient uh, in the particles, high concentration, top left, low bottom right. And what I did with each of these particles was I used a random number generator to assign each particle a random direction. And then I simply moved the particles in their directions, changing them only when they bumped into each other or uh, the box itself. So let's go ahead and start this animation playing. And uh, I just created frame by frame of this until I got to an end product. I think it was 85 frames of animation moving these little circles around uh, to get to the end product here, which is definitely more uniformly distributed than what we started with. Now, if you're not convinced that that's more uniformly distributed, let me just show you. Here was the first frame with a line between the high and low concentration areas. Here's the final frame with that same line in it. It's definitely more uniformly distributed than when it started. And if you pay attention to the numbers, it's not like a bunch of the numbers on the high concentration side said, OK, if we three go over there, it balances. It's actually some of the high particles or concentration particles are still on the high concentration side. Uh, some of the low particles, the particles that started on the low concentration side have moved to the high. Uh, it's not directional. It's net. We've seen a net movement from high to low and it's produced from random motion. This is simply what particles do left to themselves, and that's key. Now, the other thing to realize, though, with diffusion is it's distinctly distance limited. Uh, so to show you this very quickly, let me go back to the let me go back to the food coloring video, but don't panic. I'm not going to show you the whole video again. I'm just going to show you three frames. When the food coloring was added, about an hour in, and at an hour and 40 minutes at the end. Now notice from the first to the third of these three frames, we're definitely getting more and more uniformly distributed, but it took an hour and 40 minutes to get there. That's one drop of food coloring in a quarter cup of water. We're not talking about a lot of substance in this case, and yet it took an hour and 40 minutes to reach a point that we might call equilibrium. That's not going to be efficient for uh, living organisms if that's how things have to work at that scale. But see, that's the thing. Diffusion will rapidly achieve equilibria at a very short distance. Short distances, diffusion is really efficient. So short distances like from one point to another within a cell, uh, across a membrane of a cell or an organelle, uh, from outside one cell to outside a neighboring cell that's really close by. Over short distances, diffusion is really efficient and rapid. Over longer distances, not so much, which is why multicellular organisms have things like respiratory systems and, and circulatory systems to support diffusion. But what you're going to see if you watch more of my videos is that diffusion is a centerpiece of so many processes in cell physiology and therefore in biology uh, more broadly. So there you have diffusion uh, as a random process and diffusion as distance limited. And I'll be doing one more diffusion video talking about factors that influence the speed with which diffusion occurs. All right, so listen, I wanna try something different because I really think when I put the hat on backwards like this, that it makes me look young and hip. You're not young and no one says hip anymore. Fine, but don't look young. 
Um, rad? No, you're not rad either. Um, fly? No. Uh, fresh? No. I'm slaying it. No, just stop. Bad? No. Groovy? Yes, all the kids these days say groovy all the time. Just do really? the tape. Okay. Hey man, this is Professor S. If you enjoyed that video, here's a couple others that you may find interesting as well. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new groovy videos that I'm putting out.